everybody. Welcome back to our Hersey Hoops podcast. My name is Connor Durkin. Joined alongside me, returning, it's Connor Krebs. Hello, everyone. Host. Welcome back. And today we are joined with senior Samuel Friore. Thank you for coming on today. Yep. Pleasure. <laughs> All right. So let's get right into these questions here. Um, obviously, yesterday's game wasn't the way we wanted it to go. But what were some key takeaways you guys had after that loss? Um, I think one of the big takeaways with that game is that no matter how good or how good everyone says the team is, we always have to bring our A game and not give up when we are down. I think the second half was a big uh, indicator of that. I think we did a good job in that. Sam, you were injured at the start of the year, but now you're you have recovered. Tell me what happened and what was that? What was like? What that was like for you? Um, yeah, so it was the third game that we were in, in the Palatine tournament, and I just, it, it really sucked when it first happened, and I didn't expect it to be, like, as devastating as it really was, because I thought it would just be, like, a few, few week process or something, but it turned into something longer. Um, I'm really glad, though, now to be able to come back, uh, but I haven't been able to come back at the, f- at, like, right away, because we haven't been able to practice that much, but... Um, I was really glad to get in last night and get some minutes, yeah. even though, despite the score. <laughs> how long? How long were you out actually? Because I remember. Yeah, I was out while. for about five and a half weeks. And what was it exactly? It was like it know, was a. It, I broke my pinky. It was yeah, a clean, okay. It was a clean break across okay. the bone. Yeah. <clears throat> so Sam, we've been asking. Every, all, basically all the seniors this question all year what is your favorite Hersey basketball memory um my favorite basketball memory or Hersey basketball memory uh came from last year probably when we beat prospect um obviously last year we had a lot of wins and a lot of or we had a very successful season but when we beat prospect at home specifically I remember uh, everyone just when we got back into the team room, like water being thrown, everything being destroyed, everybody f- freaking out, and people dancing and stuff. Evo, most of all, just on the <laughs> coach's table with his speaker. Would you say that's like the craziest anyone's ever gone after? Yeah. Team? Yeah, that was the most fun I've ever had celebrating for a win. Yeah. So then, kind of moving on, same kind of question here, but what's your favorite? Hersey memory overall. We kind of asked this question to Braden last week, and I thought it was cool getting. Um, outside of basketball, or yeah, outside of basketball. Um, honestly, all my best memories do really come from basketball. So I think that one of my best Hersey memories in general is probably just like going to practice every single day in sophomore year. I feel like every single practice was just like the most fun I ever had. Really, like. Coach DeVito is the, a great the, coach. The sophomore year practices are definitely, yeah. like, one of the best, I got to say. Yeah. Co- coach DeVito. He just DeVito. makes you want to compete every yeah. single second. Shout out, Coach DeVito. Yeah. For real, for real. Um, this Thursday, we are at home against Meadows. We've played them once this year away. How are you guys looking forward to getting another look at this team? Yeah, I think that when we played them at the beginning of the season, we were not at our full potential at all. In fact, I think we were at our lowest point in the season. So I think that... We it's a great opportunity for us on Thursday, and um, I think that we're gonna do we're gonna have a lot better outcome than last time, and I think that we've made a lot of strides to come closer to getting a win t- tomorrow. Yeah, before we move on to our next portion of the podcast, just wanted to plug Hersey Dispatch is uh, streaming the game tomorrow. Me and Krebs will be on the mic, so we're excited. I feel like we haven't done one. Yeah, I feel like I, I, I've not done a game in a long time. I feel like it yeah. was it Prospect, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while. I haven't announced it, and I'm gonna be a little rusty, but <laughs> it'll be good. It'll be fun. It's always fun announcing a Meadows game, so I'm a little bit hyped for that. Speaking of announcing Meadows games, last time you guys did it was the buzzer beater, right? Yeah, that was the last so. Meadows that game. Was, that, that was crazy. that was another crazy one when yeah. Evo had that layup. Mm-hmm. That was wild. That was crazy. We've gotten that was crazy. Yeah. We've gotten a couple yeah. buzzer beaters. Hop this year. Oh, Wheeling. I completely yeah, forgot yeah, about yeah, that. Wheeling yeah. this year was crazy, too. Yeah. All right. So moving on here to the unscripted portion here. Uh, you want to take the first one? You want me sure, to yeah. This is Coach Scott's favorite question and honor. Coach Scott not being here today. Who is your celebrity crush? Um, definitely Rihanna. Rihanna. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, while, we've we've yeah. gotten that one now, right? A yeah, lot. Yeah. Yeah. Really. yeah. Hmm. Ah. 
Uh, what is a meal you can prepare on your own? Mm, probably a grilled cheese. I got Ooh, that. God. Yeah. Um, sometimes on good days, quesadilla. Quesadillas uh, are fire, though. Yeah. And then probably my main dish, a turkey sandwich. Have either you had so random? Have you either you had the new burrito place like I, uh, on Starbucks? Ran- it is so bad, bro. Really? It, it is, is so it bad? bad. Oh my god! I don't even really like burritos. I yeah, like the burrito I, it wasn't. It wasn't my favorite. I can't. It was not. All right, favorite NBA player. Allen Iverson. For ooh, sure. ooh, yeah. ooh, that's a good yeah. one. I like that one. I've a lot. always loved him. Yeah, I got his. I've got multiple jerseys of his. So. I like it, I like it. No, but I plan, I hope to, one day. Uh, What's your favorite pregame song? Um, I I really like the pregame song that we got in our uh, playlist called Rico by Drake. That was actually put in there just because I recommended that, so that's my favorite. Someone else said Drake, I think. I don't remember who I have no idea. I don't remember the song I don't know if it was the same song, but someone said it was... Yeah. Some Drake, Drake has a lot of good ones. Yeah. Um, favorite vacation spot. Um, I my favorite vacation spot is probably Italy because I oh, okay. that's I'm Italian and uh, we went there one time, but uh, we didn't really go to where I'm from. But that's where I would want to go, which is Sicily. What is your favorite quote? This takes a while for everybody to answer, I feel. Um, I'd say probably this could apply for, like, literally anything if you really think about it, but uh, you miss every shot you don't take. Here we go. Yeah, that, yeah. you're exactly right, though. That does yeah. apply to a lot. That was faster, I feel like, than I'd be able to come up with a quote. Like, oh, I don't I don't think yeah. I'd have, like, a quote just ready oh, for, for sure. that. Yeah, yeah I, I think that was my uh, my caption for one of my posts in sixth grade mm. yeah my first that's nice. instagram post that's nice that's yeah. nice um what is your biggest pet peeve uh definitely when people are chewing with their mouth open like Ooh. really obnoxiously that's really annoying yeah yeah uh who is your inspiration and why um I feel like one of my uh, inspirations for basketball specifically is um, Derrick Rose because uh, he's, like, fought so much adversity and um, especially, like, going through, like, his injuries, but even in, like, his college process and everything, just, like, uh, with Coach Calipari and stuff, uh, like, the stuff with him and stuff. So I think that, like, all the adversity that he's faced and then he still is able to do what he is able to do every single night is just really inspiring. If you could pick one skill to master and add on to your game, what would it be? Um, probably ball handling, like like a point guard, like Braden and stuff like that. I think that would be... I think everyone would probably inc- want to do that. Yeah, true. All right, that's all we have for the unscripted. Before we go here, do you have any shout-outs you'd like to make public? Um, Shout-out to Coach DeVito for those practices. Uh, that's about it, yeah. I got one. Shout-out Coach Scott. Me and him have now missed each other two weeks in a row, but we'll be back in the pod Hopefully. next week. Yep. Hopefully next week. I got one, too. Uh, HYBA, bro. Going crazy. Ain't got squat. Thank <laughs> I I, Mavs this I, I I think the Pacers and Mavericks Mavs. might be going at it this weekend, so me and Durkin are going to get after it, that's for sure. <laughs> all right, shout, shout out HYBA Mavs. Um, that's all I can think of. You got yours. To all our viewers today, thank you for watching. Uh, good luck tomorrow against Meadows. Thank Sam, you. And we'll see you guys in the next one. You guys in the next one.